Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry I didn't upload a video um, this past Sunday. It was my first time missing my Wednesday, Sunday, 6 p.m. schedule time. Um, but I have a pretty good reason as to why. I'll just kind of make it short, but it was like a really long story. <laughs> um, I was supposed to go on this epic trip that I had been planning for weeks and I left um, day before yesterday and I was driving there and I made it about halfway so I got a hotel room for the night and um, then I turned on the TV in the hotel and there are like people dead, there are tornadoes popping up all around. I think people in Louisiana like like 11 people died or something crazy and there were tornado warnings all around where I was and it was just really crazy like the the weather just switched um, really bad to where I was headed so I had to turn around the next day and come all the way back home but I'm still gonna be doing that trip I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is because it's a surprise but um, yeah that's that's what happened and you can't really do anything about the weather so I just had to come home and hopefully we'll be able to do that trip very very soon but speaking of the weather it's 66 degrees here and it's only like 10 30 a.m here at the outer banks and we're in january and it's been like warm and muggy kind of humid humid weather in january and hence why my hair is like an afro but it's been kind of raining this morning but i feel like i'm gonna have enough break in the weather today to kind of get out and do something fun so I had an idea my idea is you guys are gonna see how weird I am the more I keep posting on YouTube but <laughs> um, I had an idea to run down to PetSmart and get a fish tank like a pretty nice size one hopefully it'll fit in my car because I still have some stuff in here from my failed trip but um, I'm gonna get a fish tank and I'm gonna set it up at my house and then I'm gonna go fishing and try and catch a crappy I know some people say crappy or crappie which I just say crappy I just say crappy y'all I don't know what it is about the crappie it sounds so fancy and it's not spelled it's c-r-o-p it's c-r-a-p P-P-I. So comment down below if you guys say crappy or crappy. It's a huge controversial issue that we need to get settled here on this channel. Anyways, so my plan is to go catch a crappy, maybe two, hopefully two, because I would love for my little friend to have a friend, um, a little fish buddy. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna get a fish tank, I'm gonna catch some fish, what did I just run over? All this stuff that I need to put in there, obviously I'm gonna get water, so it's the same kind of like brackish water that I catch him from. So I'm excited because I think it'll be so cool to like have a tank set up in my house and have my little friend there that I can feed and see what he likes to eat and maybe even test out some of my baits on. Obviously not with a real hook, I don't think. This is going to be very interesting. All right, I'll tune in with you guys when I, when I get to the aquarium aisle at PetSmart. See you guys there. Alright guys, I just left Pestmart, Pestmart, Petsmart, and um, I got all the stuff that I needed, I'm pretty sure. The aquarium was like $100, and then the other stuff was about like 70 bucks. so this little crappy is going to be a little king crappy, or queen, I don't know. All that's left to do now is to go catch our little friend. First, I need to set up this equipment. Guys, I'm sorry, it's so dark in here. It is obviously
obviously the next day after I got the tank and all the equipment um, I unboxed it and I was like ready to start setting it up and then I was like let me make sure that this is even legal to do because I'm not putting like regular aquarium fish in here I'm putting game fish um, in here so let me make sure that this is legal before I pop this up on YouTube so um, I ended up calling I ended up calling like maybe 10 different um, officers in fisheries departments around here and <laughs> I got so many different answers apparently this is not something that a lot of them really ever get questions about. I ended up finally getting an answer, like an official answer this morning that it is fine to do. I just have to make sure obviously that I follow the size limits and the creel limits for that specific species as well as if I plan on releasing it back into the water after it spends some time in my tank then I need to um, put it back in the same water that I got it from. So which is obviously all exactly what I was gonna do anyways. I basically had to postpone um, getting everything kind of really fully set up because I was worried that this wasn't legal for some reason, I don't know. But we're all good, game plan is back on, and I actually just left PetSmart again because, you know, I was like, I was Googling how to create the perfect brackish water fish tank, which of course, this crappie that I'm trying to catch is living in brackish water and apparently um, in the whole fish tank aquarium world brackish water is one of the hardest waters to maintain and create that perfect balance you have to like measure the gravity of salinity and like all this different stuff that I really wasn't like prepared to do so basically I've been going back and forth to PetSmart trying to figure out what would be the best way to create this brackish water and I think we came to a consensus that it would be easiest if I just go and get the water harvest a lot of water from the area that I'm catching this fish take it back and fill up my tank and then catch the fish and bring it home to the tank so that means that I need to gather as many of those big five gallon buckets and transport the buckets full of water to fill up the tank it is I think a 37 gallon tank so I'm gonna need seven seven of these buckets which will probably take a few trips and the spot where I'm gonna be catching these crappy is about 15 minutes or so from my house I do know where I'm catching this crappy is very very dark water it's full of different tannins and which is also why the crappie are so dark back there they're like pitch black dark if you guys look at my instagram at little red heidi hood i posted a picture of a crappie i caught back there and it was just people were saying it was the blackest crappie they've ever seen which they're so cool looking so anyways i'm hoping that using the water from the source of where I'm getting this fish is going to allow me to be able to see through the tank pretty well because obviously that's the whole point of this project that I'm doing. If I was to go the other route and do it kind of like a tank that they have in like bass pro shops, you know, where they have the big bass in there and like all this stuff, they, they get special marine salts. They have a specific like ROI, I think it's called pump filter thing um, that I would have to like hook up to my sink and then use the marine salts and then I'd have to go out and personally measure the gravity of salinity whatever the hell that means and just do all of this different stuff that like I really I mean I'm not keeping this fish long term so I just don't see any point in that especially if I'm gonna have to be changing the water um, say I want to catch a speckled trout in the ocean water then I'm not gonna go through all that trouble just to change the process completely like a month later. I will tune in with you guys once I gather up all the five gallon buckets that I can find and head to this water source. Guys, so I got my buckets and I'm back here at the refuge. There's the water that I'm going to be filling the buckets up with. I really hope that I'm able to carry these because it's going to be pretty heavy. I've got four or five gallon buckets. These white ones are definitely five gallon, but I'm honestly not sure. Those, those, um, the orange and the black one look like they might be a little bit more than five.
Look how dark this water is. It's just so full of tannins. But we're going to try it anyways. Alright, I'm going to take this back and then go get another one. Just pray this doesn't spill. <laughs> and whew, I'm obviously gonna have to do another trip. And so this, if I mean, this isn't exactly five gallons each, but it should be about 20 gallons. And my tank, like I think I told you guys earlier, is about 37 gallons. So I'm gonna need a few more of these, but this is a good start. Hopefully it doesn't spill on the way home. I will see you guys there. All right guys, so I have made it back home. I don't know if you can see, but Frankie's over there trying to get in them. Frankie? No, no sir. So I'm gonna rinse off this gravel that I got and the little fake plants. Frankie, cut it out. And then um, I will <laughs> video me, hopefully successfully pouring these buckets into this tank so i just rinsed this is about half of the bag of the rocks the gravel i mean that definitely covers the bottom of the frankie damn it <sighs> this is just a little like grass patch thing and then I've got these as well. That looks pretty homey. Frankie, no sir. Alright guys, brief intermission because I had to let Frankie and Elo outside. They were just trying to drink the water and like jump in the tank. So, alright, back to filling it up.